Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can perform authorization on your filament application. So what do I mean by authorization? Basically, we are referring to the currently logged in admin's ability to see a specific resources page. For example, in case of these categories, whether or not the admin can actually see the link. And then once they see the link, are they able to see the table? And then whether or not they have the permission to perform specific actions on that page. For example, if they are able to edit, a delete, bulk delete, if you have soft delete, soft delete, and then restore them, or force soft delete, or even if you have reordering, if they are able to reorder. So all of those kind of fall under authorization. Now, the way we do authorization is by using policies. So that's how filament works. Now, for today's example, guys, I have selected an example project from one of my courses on YouTube. If you guys are interested, it's my blog course. I will have the link for both the GitHub as well as the YouTube playlist. So if you guys are interested, you can go check it out. Now, it's not required for you guys to use the exact same code. As long as you have any filament application with at least one resource, you should be able to follow along. It's actually very simple to do. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So as you guys can see uh, over here, I have my filament folder and then under my resources, I have four resources, which is basically exactly the same as what we have over here. So let's go ahead and kind of for the first example, we are going to create a, an authorization or a policy for our categories. Okay. So the way we do that is by creating a policy for the model or the resource we want to handle or control the authorization for. So in this case, it is category. So I'll open up the terminal. We can use artisan to do that. And we need to type in PHP artisan, make policy. And if you guys are not familiar with policies, I do have a video on my channel. I'll try to add the link in the description or you can just search it on my YouTube channel. There are also really good tutorials on YouTube. So if you just search a lot about policies, uh, I'm sure you find something good. And in this case, we can go ahead and do, name it a category policy. And I'm also going to do dash dash model uh, category to get some of the boiler uh, plate code. So we need to go ahead and create this policy. Now I'm going to go ahead and follow this naming convention category followed by or model name followed by policy. So Laudable can automatically detect it. So I don't need to register it. So I'll hit enter. So now that we have created this policy, guys, by default, again, if you add this tag tag model followed by your model name, uh, Laudable will go ahead and add a bunch of methods for you. Now, all of these methods actually are the methods filament expects right so and all of these correspond to a specific action on filament so view any refers to whether or not the user can see this table over here right now by default uh, filament doesn't add the view model but if you had that this would refer to basically if the user can view that specific resource or not individually right uh, again create kind of makes sense right if the user has permission to create or not, uh, a re new resource or not and then there is one for update, which is same as edit and update. There is one for delete. And then if you have a soft deletes, restore and force delete. Okay, now we need two more extra ones for a force, sorry, for bulk delete and bulk restore. So those are not generated by a lot of by default. So we need to go ahead and actually copy these and add them as well. So for a bulk delete and bulk restore, so we need to do delete any. And we don't need the second argument for these. We need restore any for restoring, basically bulk restoring, and then force delete any for that one as well, right? Now, if you guys are interested, I will have the link to the documentation below. Basically, this is the list of methods you need to add in your policies. So again, uh, delete any, force delete any, and restore any are mentioned over here. In case you forget that, I will have the link in the description or you just can search authorization in the documentation and you should be able to actually find it. Okay. So now that we have done get that, guys, uh, basically, if you're returning through, that means the user has permission to perform that action. Basically, for example, uh, just like this, we can say return through. I'll hard code it for now. So if you return through, it means the user has permission to perform or view that action or that page. And if you return false, basically means they are not able to do it. Now, on my case, uh, and this user refers to the currently logged in user. Now, on, for my case, on my user model, I have two kind of helper methods. One is to check if the user is an admin and then one to check if the user is an editor. So these are kind of two separate roles I have on my application. So in this case, I'll go ahead and only allow admin to view categories. So we can go ahead and do something like this. Super simple user is 
admin and again this method returns a boolean so if the user is an admin it returns true if not it will return false so i'll go ahead and i'll add that for all of these guys so let's go ahead and do that we have one more left sorry two more left okay so that's all we need to do and right now i'm actually logged in as an editor and i'll open up here my name is editor this user is actually an editor that's the role so if I go ahead and I reload now, it will actually kick me out of this categories page. So I'll reload. And as you guys can see, it's telling me forbidden uh, or it's giving me a 403 error. I'll manually go back to the admin page. And as you guys can see, I'm still able to see comments, posts, and users, but I'm no longer able to see the categories page, right? Now we can manually allow ourselves to see that page, or I can add an or over here and say if user is editor. So I will also allow editors to view the you have permission to the view any action which is same as the table page right so if i reload now i'm actually able to see the categories right so if i open it up i'm able to see it but i don't have the delete oh sorry the edit or delete button i'm also not able to select anything for bulk delete or any of those things so that's it guys it's that simple now this will work with anything if you have if you don't have for example helper methods you can obviously do any check you like if you're using spatty roles and permissions you just put your permission check or your role check over here right something similar to what i have in this case i have these two helper methods so i'll just use them in this specific example so that's the basics guys just go ahead and create a policy uh, if you want to prevent bulk deletes make sure you add delete any restore any and force delete any there is one more extra one for reordering if you have reordering you also need to go ahead and add this one so i'll have the link again for the documentation in case you guys want to refer to it later on and then add your logic inside of it super simple stuff now in some cases maybe you do not actually want this authorization to be applied okay so maybe you have this on your front end side you're not using filament and you have some existing uh, policies and this might actually be interfering with your admin panel so you may want to disable authorization in that case guys it's actually very easy to do you need to go ahead and add a property of should skip authorization to your resources and this will actually go ahead and ignore authorization right so and that's what i would what i will do right now i'll just copy it from the documentation because i don't want to take time typing it in so i'll just copy it again i will have the link in the description so we can go ahead and open up our category resource so and we can see before we do that uh it is indeed using the policy i don't have the ability to edit i also don't have the ability to delete or bulk delete so what I will do, guys, I will go ahead and add this new uh, property we copied. So it's protected, static, bool, uh, should skip authorization. And it is by default, obviously, true. So it should skip it. I'll save that. I'll go back. I'll do a quick reload. Again, if you guys see, we don't have edit. I'll reload. And now we have the ability to edit as well as perform all the delete operation. So that's it. So if you want to, you already have some existing policies and maybe it's messing up with your application. And you want to disable it you can go ahead and add this property as well so that's it guys for today's episode very simple stuff it's very easy to do in filament it's kind of similar to how laravel nova does it if you guys have used laravel nova it also uses policies so basically create a policy for your resource uh, use the dash dash model to create all these existing ones and then go ahead and add delete any force delete any and restore any as well as reorder if you happen to have it for all those extra ones and then add the logic inside of it whatever conditional you have okay so that's it guys so if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below as always if you enjoyed the videos or you're learning something new make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified of my latest videos and i see you guys on the next filament video have a great day